All right, we're back. Uh, this is our chicken that we took off of the bone. We've got about two cups of chicken right there, and now it's time to prepare some veggies. So in between uh, getting the chicken off of the cutting board and starting to cut up the vegetables, I washed it really, really good with some uh, antibacterial soap and dried it off really well. If you're working with um, raw vegetable, or sorry, raw meat, especially, you want to make sure you wash off your cutting board or completely use a different cutting board just to be on the safe side um, before you start working with your vegetables. It's also a good idea to cut up your vegetables before you cut up your meat, um, especially if you're going to use them in something fresh like a salad. So I'm just using my knife here to cut my vegetables. You can see I'm going to keep the front end of the knife down and just move it down the celery there. Okay. And you can cut your vegetables thicker or finer depending on what you like. So I'm just going to go across the celery and make those pieces a little smaller. Now it's time to go cut some carrots. All right, and again, you can add whatever vegetables you like. So if you don't like carrots, but you like potatoes, you can cut up some potatoes and put them in. If you don't like carrots and potatoes and you want to put in something different like green beans, go for it. So you can make your chicken soup whatever you want. Okay. So that's it for our vegetables. Now, the mushrooms, they're a little different because they have to saute first before we can put them in. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables and our chicken over here to our broth. So you remember how it looked before? Now it looks lovely. We've got this lovely chicken broth here. So we're going to put in our carrots. That were roasted with the chicken. We're going to put in our celery. Careful, you almost got me. Okay, sorry. You almost got my finger. Lots of vegetables. Okay, so we're going to put the vegetables in, and then we're going to add the chicken. Scrape it down in there. And we can't forget our spices, so we've got to add some salt and pepper. So you can just add it by taste. So I'm going to take this sea salt grinder and grind it about, I don't know, 20 times or so. Put some salt in. And now some pepper. You can also add seasonings like rosemary. You can add thyme. All right, and we're gonna let that simmer. Now, as I mentioned, with the mushrooms here, they have an extra step, so we have to saute them. So I'll show you the first little part of that, and then we'll come back for the final part, which is gonna be adding the noodles. All right, so with the mushrooms, you slice them up like this. And you're going to set them in this oil and turn the burner on medium and we're going to saute those. So we'll come right back when we get done sauteing the mushrooms. Okay, so we now have our sauteed mushrooms right here. And the reason I do this is it brings out a little bit more of their flavor. So I'm going to turn that burner off, scoop the mushrooms into the soup. How's that smell, Ob? Delicious. Yeah. All right, so this just needs to simmer for a while, and the reason it needs to simmer is to soften up the vegetables and to also add a little bit more flavor. So the last step for this, after you turn your heat down low, see right there, it's on simmer. So after you turn your heat down low, you're going to let it simmer for an hour or two. It's going to make your kitchen smell amazing. And then the last step is to add some noodles. Now you don't want to add this whole bag of noodles because it would all like absorb all your broth and you would not have any soup left. Um, but you're just going to put a handful of noodles in there. Um, you can read the instructions on the back to make sure you put the right amount. And if you put too many noodles in, just make more chicken broth. You can add bouillon cubes and water or you can add one of those little Nora things that we had. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you'll try making some chicken soup of your own. It's real simple. I'll see you next time. See ya.